What's up everybody, I'm Rasi and welcome to another Pokemon Go video. In this video I'll show you some cheap Pokemon you can use in Pokemon Go Battle League Great League Battles. If you don't have access to Deoxys and Registeel and all the other Pokemon that cost you large amounts of Stardust and Candies to evolve and unlock the second charge move for. So this is Pokemon Go Battle League with a budget featuring Pokemon you should have easy access to that are cheap to build and can still compete at the highest level. Let's start off with some starter Pokemon. Now these Pokemon have had multiple community days and the best starters have been available in the game for a long time so there's a pretty high chance you have one of these in your Pokemon storage. If you don't you can ask yourself why are you even playing this game. The only thing you basically need for your starter is the feature move of community day and if you have somehow missed all the community days you can still trade for it because from what I've seen during the community days most people evolve some extras just for trades for those who cannot attend the community day. Unlocking the second move for starter Pokemon costs only 10,000 Stardust and 25 candies. Now if you compare that to let's say Skarmory, unlocking the second move for Skarmory costs 75,000 Stardust and 75 candies. So with that Stardust cost you can basically unlock 7.5 charge moves for your starters with the price of just one charge move for your Skarmory. Now even though you should definitely invest in Skarmory at some point because it's so great in Great League, with so high cost you probably should first spend your Stardust elsewhere. The starters to look for are Swampert with the charge move Hydro Cannon, Venusaur and Meganium with Frenzy Plant and Blaziken and Charizard with Blast Burn. Now the other starters might have some use but these are the ones you should concentrate on for the Great League. Next are the baby Pokemon. Unlocking the second charge move for your baby Pokemon before you evolve it is cheaper than unlocking the move after evolution. For example, for Raiolu, unlocking the second charge move costs 10,000 Stardust, but when you evolve it to Lucario, the costs go up to 75,000 Stardust, which is a huge difference. Now the baby Pokemon to trade for are Raiolu for Lucario, Mantike for Mantine, Tyrook for Hitmontop or Hitmonchan, and possibly Azuril, but we'll get into that later in this video. Cleffa, Iglipuff and Pichu have the same costs when evolved if you want to use Clefable, Wigglytuff and Raichu in the battles. Clefable and Wigglytuff have Charm which will destroy Altaria and fighting types and Raichu will spam Skarmory and Azumarill. You can use search move X only to find your baby Pokemon more easily. Third group of Pokemon we are taking a look at are Shadow Pokemon. Shadow Pokemon when purified have their Stardust and candy costs decreased. That means for example unlocking the second charge move for Polyvrath decreases to 40,000 which means you now saved 7,000 Stardust for unlocking the move. With a Pokemon that has its second charge move cost 75,000 Stardust, the cost for purifying is 5,000 and after purifying the move now costs 60,000 which means 10,000 save on the move. The cost for power up decreases too, so purifying shadow pokemon is a good way to save stardust and the amount you save is increased with some of the pokemon. Just keep in mind that getting good pvp ivs by purifying is harder because the stats are increased by 2 across the board. And for pvp at least in crate league you usually want to go with 0 attack. Shadow Pokemon you currently should be on the lookout for are all the starters Drowsy, Seedot, Ralts, Sableye, Chubat, Venonat, Gratini, Polyvac and Bellsprout. So now we have covered three groups of Pokemon, the starters, babies and shadow Pokemon. So let's move on to some individual cheap to build Pokemon. Wishcast is a very cheap Pokemon to build. Arpoach is easily accessible. It's a common Pokemon around water and the second charge move for Wishcast costs only 10,000 Stardust which is very nice. Wishcast can beat Altaria, Defense Deoxys, Registeel, Skarmory, 
Alola Marowak, to name a few, but in some of those matchups you need to bait shield Sukas fully. Just be careful for those grass types because of the double weakness against them, since Wish Cash is water and ground type. For moveset you want to go Mudshot, Mudbomb and Blizzard. Nocturnal is normal and flying type Pokemon from generation 2, so it has been in the game quite a while now. Again, unlocking the second move only costs 10,000 Stardust. Nocturnal learns Wing Attack, Sky Attack and Psychic and it can beat Azumarill, Haunter, Scrafty, Tropius and Alola Marowak. Golbat has been in the game since the very beginning and chances are you have lots of candies for it. Again, the cost for unlocking the second move costs only 10,000 Stardust. Golbat learns Wing Attack, Poison Fang and Shadow Ball and can beat Medicham, Defense Deoxys, Tropius, Venusaur, Meganium and Toxicroak. It can even beat Swampert, Alola Marowak and Sableye if you can successfully bait the shields. Golbat is readily available as a shadow pokemon too to get the costs down even further but for the charge move you only save 1000 stardust because purified Golbat's second move costs 8000 and purifying it costs 1000 but if you need to power it up it's cheaper to power up purified pokemon. And for the honorable mentions we have Altaria and Azumarill. Unlocking the second charge move for Maril and Azumarill costs 50,000 Stardust, but if you unlock the second charge move for Azuril, it costs only 10,000 Stardust. By building your Azumarill from Azuril, you save 40,000 Stardust. Just remember to unlock the move before you evolve your Azuril. Swablu and Altaria both have the low 10,000 Stardust cost for the second move. Now even though the second move for these Pokemon are cheap, it costs you more Stardust to get these Pokemon to the right CP than some other Pokemon because for example Asmoril maxes out at 1588 CP which means getting your Asmoril near the 15,000 mark costs way more than some other Pokemon that maxes out at higher CP. But these two Pokemon are a big part of the current Great League meta and definitely Pokemon you should get. And that's it. Hopefully you gained some new information from this video and it will help you save some Stardust along the way. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.